Well, the Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office recently received national attention after a corrections officer helped an inmate escape the Lauderdale County lockup. And now three candidates are hoping to replace current Sheriff Rick Singleton in the upcoming election and implement some changes at the jail so something like that doesn't happen again. News 19's Addison Wellman has more. The election race for Lauderdale County Sheriff has been a hot topic since Vicki White, a Lauderdale County Corrections Officer, facilitated the escape of inmate and capital murder suspect Casey White. All three candidates for the office have said that they will perform a survey of the jail, including John Randall McCrary, who worked with the Rogersville Police Department and says it will be one of his primary focuses. The jail is, I've been preaching the whole campaign that, that we need to take care of it uh, and fix what's broken down there. The protocol down there will be a big focus for me. Another candidate, Joe Hamilton, has served under current Lauderdale County Sheriff Rick Singleton as Lieutenant Deputy, and he says that the Vicki and Casey White situation has revealed some glaring issues in the jail, but that he believes the Sheriff's Office is prepared to deal with them. It's naive to believe that in law enforcement you're not going to run across challenging circumstances, and the way that you respond to those circumstances say a lot, and that's why experience is so important. News 19 has also reached out to the final candidate for sheriff, Max Dotson, who has worked with the Sheffield Police Department and says that the mindset for safety in the jail was subpar and taken for granted, and that he hopes to change that mindset throughout the entire sheriff's department. In Lauderdale County, Addison Wilman, News 19. There are also two candidates running for Lauderdale County coroner after the acting coroner resigned earlier this year. We'll have more on that coming up on the news at 5.